Welcome to SecureKey's SKNet software training series. In this program, we will find, connect, and name readers, as well as entering cards and testing the system. To get started with SKNet, double click on the icon. The first time startup default username is admin, and the default password is 12345. After entering the password for the first time, you will see the SKNet's default screen. Let's take a closer look. This location is defined as a group of SK ACPE or Nova 16 or 28 SA Plus panels and readers networked together and operating as a unified system. Transactions are the various events in the system such as card reads, system events, alarm status, power failures, door, lock, unlock commands, etc., which are stored in transaction history, including the time and date for each event. Users. This screen displays all cards and associated card users for the system. Time date. Shows the time and date for the system. Time zones. Is a schedule that determines which days of the week and hours of the day that a card user has access to a specific card reader. Door schedule is a schedule that is specifically assigned to a reader which causes the door to automatically unlock and lock back down according to a regular weekly time schedule. Holidays. The system operator can enter up to 32 holidays that will be used to restrict access for card users different from their normal use for defined holidays. Connection 1 is a connection group which is used to set up communications from the computer to the access control system. It also contains a list of all the readers in that entire connection group. In readers, out readers. This is a reader group which is used to define readers intended for entry or exit when using the real anti-passback feature. Master users is a default access group which works like a master key. It allows all master users to gain access to all the readers defined in the system 24 hours, 7 days a week. Void users is also a default access group which denies all void users access to all the readers in the system. This group is used for lost cards or someone who no longer is allowed access. Access group is defined as a list of readers the card user is allowed to use in the system along with a time zone which controls what times the user is allowed to use the readers. You can create as many access groups as you need. To connect and find your readers. The first thing to do is make a connection to find your readers using the connection one group. To enter the connection group, right click on connection one and select properties. Select the Connection tab. To make an RS-232 connection, click on the down arrow for Connect Using and select a COM port. To run the connection wizard, click on Edit, then the connection wizard. The connection wizard will find the connection and then set up the proper COM port and baud rate settings in the software. The connection has been found. Click on Yes to accept the settings. Select Apply and then Connect to find your readers. To connect to the network or LAN. First, click on the down arrow for Connect Using and select LAN Internet, TCP IP. Then click on Edit. Run the LAN connection wizard. The connection has been found. Select the proper LAN connection and click on Accept. Select Apply. Finally, select Connect. After connecting to the system, it will prompt you to scan for new readers. Select Yes to scan for new readers. If more than 20 readers, select Yes. If there are less than 20 readers, choose No. New readers found. Click OK to bring the readers into your system. Click Yes to log in. Login will download all stored transactions to the transaction screen. 
Here is the list of your readers that were found. The red arrow confirms you are connected to the location. The green check mark confirms that the readers are logged in. Logged in means that you are now communicating with each reader and will now see all transactions live and able to do all required programming. The readers are automatically entered into the connection group and the default access groups, master users, and void users. The connection group will always show all the readers in your system. Naming your readers. After SKNet initially locates the readers, it assigns the default name to the readers, which is the serial number. It is recommended that the system operator name each reader with a meaningful name, such as their physical location, to better identify them when viewing the transactions. For example, front door, lobby, etc. Just right click on the reader's serial number and select Rename. The User Manager. The User Manager displays all cards and associated cardholders. This is where you can add a card, edit card details, monitor in out status, and generate user reports. To see your current user list, select Users. To add users to the User Manager, just select Users. Select Add, then select Range for a range of sequential card numbers, or select Single for just a single card. Entering a range of cards. First, enter Start and End numbers. Select the proper access group. Click OK. Once the block of cards has been entered into the User Manager, they are ready to be sent to the readers. You can add the user's information at any time. User Properties To enter the user's information, just point to the user's card number and double click. Enter all the user's information. Select the proper access group. Additionally, SKNet supports a photo for each user. Just click on Load and enter any photo in the JPEG format. Card Send Once you have entered all your card numbers, you will need to update the readers so the card users in your system will start allowing access. Just left-click on the Send Users full icon to send all users to all the readers now. Then select Yes. This will validate all your card users in the User Manager. After the card send is complete, your users are ready to start using the system. Testing the system. To test the cards you have just programmed into your system, take one of the cards and read it several times on each reader to verify that it works. Select Transactions. Look at the transactions. You will see the time, date, card number, user's name, if already entered, access group, transaction type, and reader name. Make sure to verify that all the transactions are valid. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video. If you have any questions, comments, or need assistance, please call SecuraKey at 800-891-0020 or email technical support at techsupport at securakey.com.